Hey everybody, welcome to the Jade and Stitches show. Today on the show, I'm going to teach you how to do the triple treble crochet stitch. It's a monster stitch, it's really tall. And the fun way to learn how to do a triple treble crochet stitch is to make a yo-yo. Now, I don't mean this kind of a yo-yo. <laughs> I mean this kind of a yo-yo. If you sew, you know that a fabric yo-yo looks similar to this. The advantage to a crochet yo-yo is that there's no raw edge. Why make yo-yos? Well, they're an incredible scrap buster. They don't use up much yarn at all. And you can use them as a base for a flower, if you're putting flowers on anything. You can also stack them together by running a string, or in this case, I'm going to demonstrate with my crochet hook, <laughs> through their centers. And all together, they can be a cute little tree, if you have them in descending order and all in green, or they make really nifty filler for arms and legs for stuffed toys and dolls. And if you've seen some of those really vintage clown patterns, you know, with the great big arms and legs that are all googly woogly, that is often the kind of filler that they use. So it's a very versatile little scrap busting, mm, I'm going to say, toy builder. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we're going to do on the show today. So grab your scraps, grab your favorite crochet hook, grab a pair of scissors, and let's head to the craft table. You can use any scrap yarn you've got lying around. Today I'm using worsted weight acrylic. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook or a G6, but you can use any hook that you're comfortable with and you need a pair of scissors. Once you've got those three things, we can get started. We're going to start with a slip knot. Make sure it's not too tight or too loose, it moves comfortably around on your hook. And we're going to begin by chaining four. One, two, three, and four. This chain four is going to be turned into a loop. So we're going to join with a slip stitch to our first chain that we made. There we go. And you should have a loop that you can just kind of stick over the very tip of your finger. It doesn't have to be very big. Now, we are going to begin by chaining eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A triple treble crochet is quite tall. <laughs> so we need to start with a chain length of eight in order to bring our work up to roughly the right height. So I know that seems pretty tall, but once we get a triple treble done, you'll see why. Hold on to your little circle. So try to make sure you've identified the middle because you're going to work all of your triple treble crochets into this center ring. Hold on to the rest of your work because this will get kind of difficult because um, it's a tall stitch. So now you want to wrap your yarn around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. So you've got the loop that's on your hook plus four wraps of your yarn. <laughs> now put your hook through the center of that circle and pick up another loop. So this is what it'll look like. You've got one loop on your hook, one, two, three, four wraps of the yarn, and another loop you've just picked up, so you've got six on here altogether. And now we start to crochet. Wrap your yarn, pull through the first two loops on your hook, wrap your yarn, pull through the second two loops on your hook, and it's important to try and keep a little bit of tension on this because this does get a little unruly. Wrap your yarn, pull through the third set of loops on your hook. <laughs> Wrap your yarn, pull through the fourth set. <laughs> and wrap one more time to pull through the last set or the fifth set. And try not to split your yarn. This is a tricky little stitch to get the hang of mainly because it is so tall. There we go. There! Do you see how that triple treble crochet is pretty much equal to eight chains? So, goodness gracious, that's a tall stitch. <laughs> All right, 
We are now going to triple treble crochet another 18 times into our circle. So this chain 8 is going to count as a triple treble crochet. This is the first triple treble crochet we made. Now we're going to make 18 more of them. Let's do this together one more time. We're going to wrap our yarn four times around our hook. One, two, three, and four. So you've got your working loop and four wraps. Take your hook, go through the center of that circle you made, pick up another loop, so you should have six, and remember you want to try and keep some tension on everything because this does tend to want to unwind on you, so patience is key here. <laughs> and now we start to crochet. Wrap and pull through the first set of loops. Re-establish your, your grip on your crochet if you have to. Wrap, pull through the second set of loops on your hook. Re-establish your grip. <laughs> Wrap, pull through the third set of loops on your hook. Re-establish your grip. <laughs> Wrap, pull through the fourth set. Okay, getting a little tricky here. And then wrap and pull through the last set, the so fifth set. So that should be the easier of the sets. And there we go. That's another triple treble crochet. Okay, one more. We're going to wrap four times. One, two, three, four. So four wraps of the yarn around your hook. There's your working loop. And one, two, three, four wraps of the yarn. Hook or goes through the center. You pick up a loop. Now you've got six, six loops on your hook. Wrap, pull through the first set. Regrip, <laughs> wrap, pull through the second set. Regrip, wrap, pull through the third set. Pull through the fourth. Oops, try not to split your yarn. And the last set. So what you're doing is you're crocheting back through five different sets of loops. Goodness, that's a tall set. It sort of starts to look like bicycle spokes. This is one of the reasons I think that the yo-yo is such a fun looking little toy. We're going to try one more. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Four loops, four wraps of the yarn around your hook. You're going to go through that center circle, pick up another loop. You should have six loops on your hook. Wrap. Pull through the first set of two. Wrap. Pull through the second set of two. Wrap. Pull through the third set of two. Wrap. Pull through the fourth. Wrap. Pull through the fifth. There we go. Now these are really easy stitches to count. So remember your chain eight counts as one, two, three, four, five. They are so easy to count because there's such a nice big space in between them. So we've done five so far. You're going to go ahead and crochet the rest. That'll be um, another 15. So you've got five. You want 15 more because you want a total of 20 spokes all the way around your circle. So let's give it a go. And once you've got another 15 triple treble crochets worked into that first circle, then we'll do the back half of the yo-yo. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. So we've got our chain eight, that counts as our first triple treble crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. They're all crammed into that circle, and if it tends to want to do this on you, don't worry, it's supposed to. We're going to join our first row, so we're going to identify the top of that chain 8, slip our hook through it, and just slip stitch to join. And that is the first half of your yo-yo. Already you can totally see the flower or the neat little center that's created so you can start stringing them all together. And that is the front. Now we all have to do is make the back and we're finished. In order to make the back, we will be treble crocheting four together all the way around. So don't worry, I'm going to take you through that. We're going to chain two to start. This is a far cry from the eight that we started with on the other side. And we're going to 
treble crochet the next three stitches together. So remember, a treble crochet is you wrap once, you wrap twice. Put your hook through the next stitch and pull up a loop. You're going to work the first set and the second set of that treble crochet. You're going to have two loops left, just leave them there. You're going to identify the next in that set of three, so there's the next stitch. You're going to start another treble crochet, so wrap once, wrap twice, hook through that stitch, pull up a loop. It's going to look like this now. You've got five loops there, so you can still ignore these two. You're going to work the first two sets of this treble crochet, so wrap, pull through the first two, wrap, and pull through the second two. All right, that's three you can ignore now. And one more we got to work in this treble crochet three together, so we're going to wrap once, wrap twice, hook through the next stitch, pull up a loop. So now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wrap, work the first set, wrap, work the second set, so now you've got your chain two, which counts as a treble crochet, and we want it short, so that's why we only chain two. You've got the first half of the next three treble crochets worked, and you should have four loops left on your hook. So now we finish it off, we wrap and pull back through all four of those loops, and that is a technical treble crochet four together, because our chain two counts as a half worked treble crochet. But let's work an actual treble crochet four together. So you next you want to identify the next four, one, two, three, four stitches that are going to get worked. So this is the first one. We start a treble crochet. We wrap once, wrap twice, hook goes through that first stitch, pull up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook. Work the first three quarter or the first two thirds. So <laughs> wrap, pull through the first set of two loops, wrap, pull through the second set of two loops. So you've got two loops left and just ignore them. Moving on to the next stitch, wrap once, wrap twice, hook goes through the stitch, pull up a loop. Remember, you're ignoring these, you've got three loops here that you want to concern yourself with, so you're going to wrap, pull through the first set, wrap, pull through the second set, that leaves you with three, ignore them. <laughs> we have two left. This is the next one we're working, so we wrap once, wrap twice, hook goes through the stitch, we pull up loop, wrap, work the first set, wrap, work the second set. Now we have four loops on our hook, we're going to ignore all of them, and we've got one more stitch left to work. We're going to wrap once, wrap twice, hook goes through the stitch, we pull up loop, work the first set, work the second set, and that leaves you with one, two, three, four, five. So here's your joiner or your connector loop, and here are the four half worked treble crochets. That's what we want to now crochet all together. So we wrap and pull back through all five of the loops on your hook. There we go. Isn't that kind of pretty? I just think that looks so neat. <laughs> now we do the next set. So there's one, two, three, four. There's the next four chains or the four stitches that we're going to work. And little chains running across the top there. So you wrap once, wrap twice, hook goes through the next stitch, pull up a loop, work the first two sets, ignore those, wrap once, wrap twice, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, work the first two sets of that stitch, ignore these three, wrap once, wrap twice, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, wrap, work the first two sets of that stitch, Ignore these four. Wrap once, wrap twice. And the last, oops, can hear you. Did I lose one? I think I did, there we go. Make sure I got two extra wraps, pull up a loop, work the first two <laughs> sets of that stitch. And I should have one, two, three, four, five loops on my hook. There's my join, my connector loop, and my first, those are the four half worked or two thirds worked treble crochets. I'm gonna wrap back through all five loops to make sure they're all crocheted together, and there you go. You should have eight stitches left with which to treble crochet four together across. 
So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and work those last eight treble crochets, or I should say you're going to treble crochet four together, twice more, because <laughs> you've got eight stitches left, and then we're going to join and be done. This last set is a little tricky, so if you find yourself feeling like you're working into a very small little space, well, you are. So remember, like I said with everything, patience is important. <laughs> But once you've got your last treble crochets all done up together, so you shouldn't have any stitches left, this is the joiner, then you can woo, look at that, identify that small little space, try and find the top of the chain two or the first treble crochet four together you did, and slip your hook through it just like that and slip stitch. So it's a small little space to work, but you can do it. <laughs> Just take your time. There. And then squish it. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to line up the round spaces. So you've got a little hole in the back and you've got a little hole in the front. We can snip our yarn. Now you don't have to leave a long thread. Um, depending on what you're doing with your yo-yos, you can cut a long or a short tail and just weave it in. But then you just sort of line up your two spaces. You see, you can see right through it. There's hole number one and the hole in the back. If I pull that little string out of the way. And there you go. That's the front of our yo-yo. That's the back of our yo-yo. So the front is in triple treble crochet. The back is in treble crochet four together. So five sets of treble crochet four together. And that is a yo-yo. So there you go triple treble crochet in a fun little yo-yo. Great little scrap busting project that you can use for a whole lot of different things. That is it for this week everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and being part of the show. Remember you can like, subscribe, and share our videos with all of your crafty friends and we really appreciate it when you do because it really helps us out. And I love your pictures and I love your comments, so keep them coming. You can post comments down below and you can also post me pictures at Google Plus Pinterest, and Instagram. We will see you again really soon, everyone. Until then, stay crafty, stay safe, and have an awesome week. Bye!